After months of speculation, Apple has now announced the HomePod Mini, which features a new circular design, S5 chip, the ultra wideband U1, and also a new intercom feature. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it, plus my thoughts on what it means for HomeKit and the future of smart home. Hi and welcome back. My name's John and this channel is dedicated to everything HomeKit news reviews and tutorials. So if you are new around here and you want to know all about HomeKit, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell button. Also, don't forget to check out our social channels where we are constantly putting out information about HomeKit and all the latest information. The HomePod Mini comes in at just under $99 and it stands just 3.5 inches tall with a mesh woven fabric cover. It includes a touch surface on the top with playback controls and it will glow when Siri is activated. Whilst it does not have the same hardware inside as the original HomePod, the HomePod Mini still features a full range dynamic driver and two passive radiators for enhanced-based response. It also packs an acoustic waveguide to provide clear 365 audio playback. The HomePod Mini is powered by the Apple S5 chip, which is the same one that's featured in the Apple Watch Series 5 and the Apple Watch SE, which helps deliver the new computational audio features. These include complex tuning modules that allow the speaker to optimize both loudness and dynamic range. It also includes four microphones to pick up voice and help cancel out background noise similar to how it works with the original HomePod. HomePod Mini also supports AirPlay 2 multi-room capabilities, which means if you have multiple HomePods, the sound will play throughout the home in sync. This will be useful if you're moving around the home, listening to a podcast or music, and when two HomePod Minis are close together, they automatically form a stereo pair. Later this year, Apple will deliver an update that will utilize the built-in U1 Ultra Wideband chip that will enable a smoother and over transfer. This will enable you to switch your music from your phone to the HomePod seamlessly and provide tactic feedback to give you more a connected experience between your HomePod and your iOS device. Siri also gets better with some improvements. Apple announced several new feature updates that will improve the way Siri works and connect to third-party services. HomePod already works with services like Apple Music and Apple Podcasts. But with a future software update, Apple is bringing support for third-party music services like Amazon Music and Pandora. Although it's worth pointing out, there was no mention of Spotify during the Apple event. And from a Siri point of view, Apple announced new Siri features that will make the digital assistant much more responsive and intelligent. For example, Siri can identify up to six different people and carry out contextual based actions. These features include tailoring music and podcasts and respond to personal requests like accessing messages or what you've got on in that day. And it gives you a breakdown of what's happening. This is gonna be a very useful feature for someone that uses a lot of the Apple services that are integrated, particularly calendar, mail, and all of those things to see how their day is gonna plan out. In terms of HomeKit and HomeKit controls, just like the original HomePod, you're gonna be able to control smart home devices that are connected to HomeKit through the HomePod Mini. And Apple say it's gonna be simpler to be able to do that and also more affordable given its price point. The other interesting thing is the HomePod Mini can also act as a HomeKit hub, enabling HomeKit secure video with supported cameras. The HomePod will analyze the feeds of your supported video cameras, looking for presence of people, pets and cars, and then all processing is done right on the device itself and then sent up to iCloud, which is fully encrypted. Now, I was skeptical when I originally heard the S5 chip would be inside the HomePod Mini and whether it would be capable. However, this is really good to see a device at this price point able to be used as a HomeKit hub, and it will certainly give a lot of people a lot of choice in terms of what they want to use for a HomeKit hub. They also mentioned a new Discovery tab in HomeKit, which helps people understand the types of devices that could connect up in their smart home. This will certainly again be a useful feature to get people on board with HomeKit 
and making the most of out of its features. One of the headline features was the new intercom system. Apple has announced this new intercom feature, which offers a quick and easy way for family members to connect with each other around the home. For instance, one person can send an intercom message from an HomePod or iOS device. Their voice will then automatically play on the designated HomePod speaker or all speakers, depending on the instruction given by Siri. Intercom messages will also appear on connected iPhones, iPads, Apple Watch, and even CarPlay gets in on the action. So because it works outside the home, if you're traveling home in the car and you want someone to do something for you in the home, then you can quickly send an intercom message through CarPlay. Additionally, intercom messages will play through AirPods and allow the user to reply. Now I've been having a quick play with the latest beta and this function is there. If you say, hey Siri, announce we're getting HomePod minis for every room, it will then deliver that message to all HomePods in the home, plus all enabled iOS devices. You can also send a message directly to one particular HomePod. So for instance, if you want to get the attention of one of your children in their bedroom and they've got a HomePod mini in there, you could then send a message directly to that HomePod so they can get their attention. I will have a further play with this and maybe do a deep dive video once things are more stable and working a little bit better. Now the other interesting thing is Fred Wireless. Although Apple didn't mention this in the presentation. After looking deeper into the specs, the new HomePod Mini includes Thread wireless capabilities. Thread is an IPv6 based low powered mesh networking technology that is designed for Internet of Things products. It tended to be a secure and feature proof. The connected over IP project chip, which Apple is a part of, along with other smart home platforms have been working on a royalty three based standard to promote a standard model and home connectivity. So leveraging Fred, this could be the first sign that Chip is making progress and Fred could be part of that move forward. Also privacy is built right into the HomePod. With HomePod Mini, it only sends information to Apple servers once Siri is activated. So it's not listening to what you're doing all the time. Plus information sent to Apple is not associated with the user's Apple ID, nor is any personal information sold to any third party. To further perfect user privacy, the personal request feature that I've already mentioned will only work if the user's iPhone is within the home. So what is the future of HomePod and HomeKit by this new introduction of this product? Although what was announced is just a start for the HomePod and HomeKit, U1, Intercom and Thread, in my opinion, is the real future. The fact that HomePod and HomeKit got more significant airtime at this event shows that Apple is putting some focus behind HomeKit and its smart home journey. The device is targeted at people wanting to get into HomeKit with its low price point and the discovery tab in HomeKit which helps people understand the types of devices that could connect up in their home. This will be useful for first time HomeKit users or people that have not necessarily considered what they would want to do in a smart home and want some inspiration. And then looking at the U1 chip, the ultra wide band chip. This is gonna be useful, particularly in the future. And whilst now we only get things like and off to make it more seamless, but I think in the future, this chip will be used for a lot more. So for example, using the U1, if a user is wearing an Apple Watch with a U1 chip built inside, the HomeKit hub, such as the Mini, would know where you are in the home. If you were then entering the living room with your Apple Watch on your wrist, it could trigger HomeKit compatible devices in that room. Now taking it one step further, it could also use automation rules for certain times of day, meaning it could trigger devices to act in a certain way. So for instance, in the evening, if you walked into the bedroom, it can ensure the lights are dimmed and set to warm colors. Whereas if you walked into the living room in the morning, it could raise the blinds and turn on the HomePod to your morning playlist or favorite radio station. So I think in the future, this is where it's going to go. HomeKit, HomePods, and those types of devices are gonna be more aware of your presence, gonna be able to adapt and learn to things that you do in your home and be able to adapt HomeKit and your smart home to your individual preferences. The fact it's already got thread built in, and this is one of the proposed standards of chip, the fact that HomePod Mini has got this really shows that Apple's intent to move forward with chip, along with the fact that Apple is now literally taking HomeKit more seriously and starting to drive things forward, really shows that HomeKit is going to be a real consideration for Apple in the future. So I, for one, am excited about the future of HomeKit and this cheaper HomePod will open up so many doors for new users to enter HomeKit and the smart home market, particularly at this price point. And I can't wait to get my hands on the device. So the HomePod mini will be available in white and space gray. 
for $99 or £99 and it was available to customers in Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Hong Kong, India, Japan, Spain and the UK along with the US. Pre-orders on the 6th of November and then shipping will start a week later beginning the 16th of November. Now I'm going to get my hands on one of these. I'll be doing a full in-depth review. I'll be using it. I'll certainly be going in-depth to look at the new intercom features and how that whole works. I'm certainly, as I've already said, very excited for the future of HomeKit and what it means for the HomeKit community. So guys, if you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated. Also, if you're new around here and you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And also don't forget to leave your own comments what you think to the home pal below. And also don't forget to check out our website, homekitauthority.com and also our social media channels at Follow Home Kit. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.